In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Polynomial Inequality, Problem Type 3. We're asked to solve this inequality where we have a polynomial on the left-hand side less than zero. For previous examples, everything on the left-hand side was already factored. In this example, I can see that this middle term can still be factored. This is a difference of two squares, so I'm going to start by rewriting our expression and factoring this as x minus 2 x plus 2 so that our rewritten expression is x plus 5 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 6 is less than 0. Now that the left hand side is fully factored I can set each of these factors equal to 0. So the first one x plus 5 setting that equal to 0, and solving for x gives me an x equals negative 5. For the next factor, x minus 2, setting that equal to 0, and solving for x gives me an x equals 2. The next factor is x plus 2. Solving for x, I would subtract the 2 over and have x equals negative 2. And then our last factor, x minus 6, setting that equal to 0, I would add the 6 over to isolate the x, giving me x equals a positive 6. We have four points of interest here. To determine where this product is going to be less than 0, I'm going to create a table. And I'm going to list each one of these four values from smallest to largest. So I have negative 5, negative 2, a positive 2, and a positive 6. And along the left hand side I'm going to express each one of these factors. So x plus 5 is our first factor. For any value larger than negative 5, x plus 5 would be positive. For any value less than negative 5, it would be negative. And then our next factor is x minus 2. For any value greater than 2, this would be positive. For any value less than 2, it would be negative. Next we have x plus 2. For x plus 2, any value bigger than negative 2 would give me a positive, and any value less than negative 2 would give me a negative. And then our last factor is x minus 6. Here, for any value greater than 6, it would be positive. Any value less than 6 would be negative. And now that we know the signs for each one of these individual factors, if I were to multiply them all together, so in this first area, multiplying 4 negatives would give me a positive, because it's an even number of negatives. In this second area, I have 3 negatives, so multiplying would give me a negative. In the next area, I have two negatives, so multiplying here would give me a positive. Between two and six, I only have one negative, so multiplying would give me a negative. Larger than six, everything is positive, so multiplying is still positive. I can use this final line where I've written the signs for the product and look back at the question I'm interested in where this polynomial is less than zero. So that's going to be where it is negative. It is negative here and here. This does not have an or equal to underneath the sign, so I'm not going to include those endpoints. My range, though, is going to be negative 5 to negative 2, not using the endpoints and I would have a union of that, and my other area where it is negative is between 2 and 6, so 2 to 6, also not using those endpoints. X values in this range would satisfy this inequality. 